crazy reason you decided to do dry January this year, uh, you haven't suffered enough for the past couple of years, um, the good news is that there's only 18 days left. 18 days? <laughs> and if you need a bit of help making it to the end of the month, Helen McGinn is here now with the best alcohol-free drinks. And actually, they've got a lot better at this, haven't they? We might scoff, but actually there is options out there. There are there's so many more options yeah. out there. Doing this even up to a few years ago mm. was, was quite a dry old do and there wasn't much going on in terms of yeah. flavour. That has all changed. Some it really areas is, still not quite there. You're absolutely right. It, it, it depends what you're looking for. So we, here we have got beers, wine, spirits and cocktails mm -hmm. and something a little different. Nothing with alcohol, apart from the one that you end, we'll come to that. Okay. Yeah. But there really is something for everyone. So we'll start with this one, the first one here, which is called Odd Bird. And it's based on Prosecco, so it's from Italy. It's from the same region, Veneto. It's made from the same grape, Glera grape, but she's removed the alcohol I don't quite mind that. gently. Not I it's think not that's really quite sweet. Good. And yeah. a lot of these low alcohol wines replace the alcohol with sugar. Yeah. And although this has got a bit of sugar, it's not got well, lots of I've just of got lots. a mouthful of caramel sauce, so I'm just oh. swilling <laughs> no, it down. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. 899 yeah. from Amazon. And I have to say, I think this is the best non-alcoholic I mean this is zero big, percent big thumbs up there that yeah, I found. Yeah, that's, that's I think that's taste. very good. I yeah. remember when I went, obviously when you're pregnant and you want to join in with a toast or something and you're yes. looking for something, but it was like, oh I just won't bother, I'll just have water because exactly. there's yeah. nothing. But yes. actually this yeah, because really I think a lot of them do just yeah. end up uh, tasting a bit like fizzy grape juice. Yeah. And this tastes a bit more like wine. Well, that's so... the thing with the alcohol in all yeah. of these drinks. It's yeah. the alcohol yeah. that gives it a bit of body. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, and it, you can't just take out the alcohol and then replace it with lots of sugar because mm. then no. you're kind of defeating the object. We're yeah. not drinking the alcohol because that's, you know, it's a good, it's a health yes. decision yes, for yes. a lot of people. Yeah. So anyway, on to the next beer, which again, like you say, there's more flavour to play with. So it's a bit easier with beer. I've had some really lovely alcohol-free beers. Yeah, it and I think delicious. so often you can't tell the difference. This is from the Big Drop Brewing Company, started by two friends. And what they do here is they brew to strength. So that means they only brew it up to 0.5. They don't take any Anything alcohol out. out. And that makes all the difference. I actually really That's like lovely. that. It's so, I prefer that. It's citrusy and fresh and light. It's £1.60. Morrison's is actually widely available. It, I think this is a really good one. Yeah, this is a one. That's yeah, really good. Yeah. Really good. Like that one? Yeah. Next. Well done. Next. Look. <laughs> We're shocked. I actually can't believe this is No, I can't. What is okay. happening? Quit while you're ahead. Forget gin, the rest. Gin. Any gin fans in the house? I know the answer to that one. Uh, so, so for this one, we've got a gin called Smidgen. It's this lovely little bottle here, and it's from Adnams, which they're a distillery and brewer in Suffolk. And what they've done is they've made like a that's double good as well. concentrate gin. So it's, I think that's good. It's really high in botanicals. If you drank that on its own, not nice, but you use this little spoon that comes with it and you add a 2.5 mil, so that's all you need, oh. and then top it up with tonic, so it's got 0.1% of a unit in there. So hang on, what, what, how, am I, how am I making this? So that so, so I, you I've get, get a, tonic, a little spoon, that's smidgen. all you put in. You, yeah, so this bottle has got 80 servings in it. Put a tiny little bit in, so it's got all those packed juniper oh. botanical flavours in there. Top it up with tonic. You'd have to drink eight of these to have the same amount of alcohol as you would in a normal gin and tonic. That's mm. very good. And I, I think, think that is good. £26 from Adnams. It's just been released this week, so yeah. that's new on the shelves. Really, really good one. Uh, next, we have a cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, for those who like a picante, which is tequila, lime and chilli, mm -hmm. this is from Lockdown, the Lockdown Liquor Company. Now, this was started in lockdown by uh, a couple and they were making pre-batch cocktails for friends and family. That quickly grew into a business and their main job is alcoholic cocktails, but they've launched two non-alcoholic ones for dry January. Oh, okay. This is their take, made with Everleaf, which is a botanical drink. What do you think? I mean, there's so I much flavour in there. That's really flavourful. Yeah. There Do are I? five servings per bottle, £25 a bottle. Don't need to keep it in the fridge, but once opened, keep five it in the fridge. servings per bottle. Yeah, so you get five servings per bottle, but for a Quite treat, expensive a cocktail for, al for alcohol free. It, it, I guess you're paying there for better ingredients. For you're paying for the flavour and the work that they've done. So, I'm, I'm a big fan. I really, really like it's that. Lovely. It's a great flavour. Yeah. It's a great flavour. Next up, we have a Switchel. Now, Switchel is based on apple cider vinegar. It's been around for centuries, but 
Bethan, the founder, when she was pregnant, she couldn't find anything to drink, mm. so she created her first one with ginger. This is her mother root limited edition with bitter orange. So, you again, treat it like you would gin in a gin and tonic. It's about the flavour. There's a whiff of marmalade. There's a whiff of marmalade. It's got a tang to it, and it's savoury. There's no... Yeah. There's no... I mean, it's, it's all natural ingredients. Yeah. Absolutely. I drink that on a night out, perfectly happy. You would, yeah. Yeah. yeah no, and 20 it. servings in there, and that's uh, available online from Mother Root. Mm -hmm. Next, we have an Aperol alcohol-free replacement, if you like. That's the, that's the uh, inspiration behind this, called Tuscan Tree. 0% distilled spirits and it's got fresh blood orange. I mean, that in definitely there. doesn't pack the punch it's not that you're looking for. It's not the punch, but I it's mean, very, very subtle. Serving it like this, it yeah. gives you something of, of the feeling of having an Aperol. Maybe not it's, for everyone. It's too That's subtle, just watery. I think. That's just flavoured water. Does like, it need a stir? May, or maybe some more, some more some Tuscan Tree in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Actually, when you stir it, it's better, to be fair. It, you, it, you're waiting for that kind to of bit fair. sweet for the bit No, of sweet I think everyone through. else has, has managed to fool my head into yes. thinking that, that there's alcohol in right, there, but I'm going to take isn't. you back to wine. Yeah. So, and there's some disasters there in There are wine. some disasters, and this is why I have put this one in. It's not dry. For anyone doing a dry January, you can't drink this. But the reason I put it in is to show you that when it comes to wine... If you take out the alcohol, as we say, you often lose a lot of the flavour and character. So this is from New Zealand. It's 9.5%. So if you're doing more of a damp January mm. than a dry January, this might be one for you. It's £13 from Booth's, called Dr Forrest. It's a Marlborough Pinot Noir, and he, he basically trained his vines so that the grapes don't produce as much sugar naturally. I would, that's great. I would you wouldn't know, but 9 is still quite high. It's, yeah, it's not, it's not low, mind but that it's What would very, it normally be, 14? Yeah, it's 13% and... Mm. up so you're getting quite a slug of alcohol off there yeah, it is no, it's, be it's better than full strength better than full strength damp january option. it's damp, damp. <laughs> i'm happy to do a damp <laughs> january what, which, like which is your fave here i have to say i beer. think that gin is incredible it's amazing and right? i really liked the beer and i'm not really a beer person but i yeah. actually really liked that yeah mm. fantastic um I and i thought uh, that was good for a sparkle yeah, uh, they're one. superb actually. I mean, they're all they're all very good. Some better than others, obviously. But yeah. uh, but that's a that's a lovely selection. Well oh, done. thank you very much. Thank well, you. very cheers. Good. Cheers. Oh, which one? Yeah, which I'm one? Going I'm going to go for this. <laughs> cheers. 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 <laughs> Gorgeous. Right, details of all of today's products, as well as more suggestions, are available on our free This Morning app. All you've got to do is head to Shop the Show. 